Well, there's a little story of a man named Aaron <laughs> who opened up a restaurant called Gadzoots. How did this happen? Because you you had no intention of becoming a chef. You're actually going to uh, to ASU for management. Yeah. What happened? Uh, just blacked out. <laughs> it just came out. No, I. Uh, <laughs> I, he woke up one morning and he owned a like, restaurant. Whoa, got into a shop. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> I knew, as silly as it sounds, I knew I, what I wanted to do and called my freshman year. I had this aha moment, like they teach you in business school. Yes. I was in Lake Tahoe. We're eating enchilada casserole at our dinner table, and like I knew I wanted to do a restaurant, but I didn't know what. What was unique, a niche, and I thought enchiladas. So I developed it in college. Got through college and I was like, I was at that point where it's either go get an MBA mm -hmm. or you try this restaurant. So and now we got soup that looks like that. History. Yeah. The rest is history. You got soup that looks like that. All right, so you're going to show us kind of the concept. So it's build your own enchilada. Yep. How does it work? Okay, so we're going to make the spinach and mushroom enchiladas right now. Okay. The filling. Okay. So we're going to start. Can you do that in two minutes? I could do that real quick, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to saute uh, just, we do a baby portobello mushroom. Mm -hmm. With uh, white onion. So you go for the good mushrooms. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything we do is like really high quality. Everything's stuff. made from scratch. Everything. Yeah, I get in there at 5 a.m. in the morning, start braising all the meats. Nice. Um, we've got our garlic, so we're gonna just saute this stuff up okay. um, for just oh, look, you until had it yeah until it get, becomes translucent, just like our soup. Mmm. I tried the soup they yeah. made earlier. Yeah. Yummy. And then we're. Once this kind of gets translucent on us, then we'll add our dark chili powder. It's a really simple recipe. Okay. We're going to let always make sure with your uh, dried, ch any type of chili, cumin, whatever. Did you forget your spoon? Yeah, it's over there. If oh, you you're want on the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This little tiny but we, always, when you're cooking at home, with any dried seasoning, you want to make sure you toast it. I find that so often where people just throw it into like a, a pot. And it's, not, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's not, and it's it's not going to give you any flavor, really. It'll right. give you a small percentage of what the flavor could be. Like this dark chili powder, as you can smell it, you're t actually toasting it. You know, for a guy who's not a chef, yeah. I've already learned so much from right. you this morning. <laughs> Seriously. So, so then we're going to add, or after that toast for a little bit, we'll add the water, and then we'll just throw our spinach in, and this is where we'll just let this cook down until the spinach gets. Uh, wilty. Looking wilty like okay. that. Okay. All right. So, so what, what we do at the restaurant, this is one of the many fillings that you can do. We have seven different fillings that you can okay. put into your enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Each enchilada comes with two enchiladas to order, and you can get different fillings in each one of them. Um, this one's our health for Heart Healthy Day. This one has. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. This one's our vegan version, so we don't put any chicken stock or butter or anything in it. Um, and this it's going to be no fat. The only fat that's going to be in this is from the oil that we're sautéing in. So when you when you serve this to me, is that what it looks like? Well, no. So like okay. you would go down the line, we would wrap it up for you. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. And we, we do two of them, and then okay. we'll put the enchilada sauce on them and all the toppings. Okay, and then yeah. so you get a choice of uh, what kind of sauce? Or? Yeah, we have a green and a red sauce that okay. we have over there. Um, the red's going to be like our smoky, mild sauce, mm. green, spicy, tangy. We call that Christmas when you do both of them. I like that. I yeah. like that. What are you going to make for us in the next segment? So we're going to actually assemble them and make them look like really pretty and see how we're kind of redefining the enchilada. I cool. like it. Yeah. I like it. And we're going to learn more about Gadzooks and how the name actually came about, which is kind of funny. <laughs> All right.